Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a little weekend vlog. This weekend's going to be fun because we are leaving to Key West tomorrow morning for just a couple days. So this is going to be a fun one. But today is Friday. It is 8.41 a.m. and I'm about to head to work in like 20 minutes. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. I am a licensed hairstylist. I do work at a salon here in Orlando and I do consecration on the side. So if you guys like lifestyle, beauty, and hair related content, subscribe down below. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, Ashlina, to see a little bit behind the scenes. Stormy's down there crying because she sees a B-A-L-L -L up here and I'm not going to give it to her. But I didn't have the best sleep last night. It just took me forever to fall asleep. So I'm like craving an espresso, I'm craving coffee, but I haven't had coffee in a month because I had an IBS flare up. So <laughs> we're just gonna drink matcha today because I'm doing so good. I'm not gonna break my coffee break, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a matcha, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do my coconut matcha. I haven't shown you guys that version yet and I've been obsessed with it lately. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coconut matcha. The very first thing I like to do is warm up my water. I warm up about one fourth cup of water in the microwave and then I add my green tea matcha powder or my matcha powder from Trader Joe's. I like to do two for days like this because I'm extra tired. Not sure if it makes a difference. And then I add a little bit of organic vanilla, organic honey, and then a tiny bit of brown sugar. I do like my matcha a little bit sweeter. It's not insanely sweet like Starbucks, but I don't like it bitter. Stormy, look at her. Look at her little gremlin face. I hate touching honey because my hands get all sticky after. Just a little bit of honey. A drop of vanilla. And then a teaspoon of brown sugar. I did order during the Amazon Prime sale a matcha whisk. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna use this whisk. It doesn't do the greatest job, but what I like to do is just let the concoction sit for a little bit. So that way everything kind of melts together and it prevents all the clumpiness. So I'm gonna mix this over the sink because it gets messy. Oh, that's my vitamin alarm. Well, that's sitting for a minute. I'm gonna show you guys the milk that I use. I use the almond milk on sweet and I get this from Whole Foods and it just has three simple ingredients, which is, I think it's just almonds, water, and salt. Yeah, water, almonds, and salt. And then I do have coconut milk. This is the star of the show. I use the reduced fat organic coconut milk from Trader Joe's. Once I open the can, I do like to pour it in here because it does change the consistency if I keep the can open and pop it in the fridge. And it's just like a whole method to it. I also like when the milk is a little bit more liquidy. So before I open the can, I pop it in the garage for like a couple minutes just so it can kind of melt a little bit if that makes sense and then once i open it i pour it in here just because i had a leftover container so i labeled it coconut milk so yeah this is my little concoction i'm actually going to pour the milk in the cup of ice first so i have my cup of ice i'm going to pour a little bit of the almond milk first like a tiny bit i would say half and half ratio but i do like a little bit more coconut milk i'm just going to shake this really good I love coconut milk. I can just literally drink it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. That looks about good. And then I'm gonna pour the matcha on top, so hopefully it'll make a mess. One, two. Perfect. Look how beautiful that looks. Thumbnail. Got my straw in here, mix it all together. If you guys have a frother, you guys can definitely put the milk concoction or even the matcha in the frother and make it nice and foamy, but I never have time for all that. And once I froth it, it doesn't fully fit in this little cup, so this is delicious. So good. I got a new prenatal and it's disgusting. It's from Garden of Life, got it from Whole Foods. It's literally disgusting, but I bought it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. And then I'm taking my L-glutamine and my probiotics, and then also I've been taking liquid collagen lately. This is my second bottle, it's very expensive, but so far it's working, my hair is working wonders, so I'm gonna take this. And then I'm gonna head upstairs, grab everything I need for work, put some perfume on, and then we're gonna head out the door and start this busy work day. I just arrived to work, I'm about to head inside and eat my breakfast. I have my overnight oats in here, with made with coconut milk. I'm just like on a coconut milk kick right now but i'm about to head inside but i'm gonna tell you guys my day really quickly i have a 10 a.m brazilian blowout and a toner she has like reddish brown hair so i'm gonna do the brazilian blowout first and then do the toner at the end and then i have a one o'clock i think a one o'clock full highlight and then i have a 5 p.m color and then i have a 5 30 
toner haircut. So today is quite busy. I need to make sure I'm done with all my clients on time. And then my last two clients, I am double booking. So yeah, hopefully I should be done by 7 p.m. today. And luckily I'm kind of all packed. I just have to do all my little things. Ryan got me a new carry-on because he broke mine last time he used it. So he got me a new carry-on. So I just need to like pack everything. So that is just the little update for today. I'm gonna try my best to film as much as I can. And I will check with you guys later. Hey guys, I'm obviously home, showered in my PJs, and it's 10 p.m. I just finished packing for literally two and a half days. Ryan was like, pack light. No, I did not pack light. I need options, I'm sorry, and I need all of my accessories. I need my toiletries, my makeup, my hair, because you just never know, you never know, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I did pack quite a bit of things. You know, you just gotta like feel in the moment what you wanna wear, so. Anyways, <laughs> that took forever. I'm about to do a little skincare. I did bring my little drunk elephant travel kit with me for Key West. So I'm gonna be using all of that skincare when I'm gone, but I'm just gonna be using my regular skincare. Actually, I'm gonna put some cortisone cream first because this right here is all irritated. And now I'm thinking it's because of the ordinary retinol. I've only been doing it once a week. And every time I do it, this it gets so rough and dry and scaly looking i don't know i don't know what's going on or it might be just the heat and blow drying in the salon but it's getting annoying i'm gonna put some lip balm on the time being but today was a really good day i was very busy very busy i didn't get to film my last two clients because i was double booked and your girl was slammed i did finish around seven o'clock and me and my girlfriend claudia went next door and got a quick little salad we had dinner together <laughs> i say dinner because um it was like a last minute moment i'm not gonna lie i'm still a little hungry but it's a little too late for me to eat i'm pretty sure in the morning i'm gonna be flustered i'm gonna be packing like last minute stuff because that's what i always do <laughs> so we'll see how the morning goes i'm gonna apply some of this bubble oil drop but it says to layer over moisturizer so i'm gonna apply some of this first this is the overnight mask from bubble I really hope I get a good night's sleep tonight because last night was not it for me. And I woke up, oop! I woke up extremely tired. Wow, the shoot's out like intense. <sighs> ooh, my face looks hydrated. Oh my god, do you guys see that glow? It reminds me of the Drunk Elephant luxury drops. So yeah, I'm so excited to go on this trip with Ryan. It's like the perfect little beach getaway we need right now. And I'm just excited to not think about work. My little brother's gonna be coming over here in the morning to take care of the dogs while we're gone. So they're gonna be nice and safe 
and taken care of so we don't have to worry about that either I got my skincare on i am ready for bed i'm gonna go downstairs hang out with ryan for a little bit and then try to go to sleep early because i do have to wake up at six thirty. no i have, we have to no we have to leave here at 6 30 so we'll probably get up at like 5 50 tomorrow it's gonna be great but i'm excited i'm gonna try my best to film as much as i can this weekend i am gonna be around other people so i do get shy and i do get shy vlogging in public so it might be a lot of you know little clips here and there from my phone but i'm gonna try my best so i will check in with you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> Hey guys, it is now 4 p.m. now. We just got back from the beach. It's been a day already and just showered. Now I'm really getting ready. I'm doing my quick little beach makeup. I did film this look in my last vlog, so check that out. It's just a quick little beach look featuring milk makeup and some kosas. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tipsy right now, but me and Ryan did go in the ocean. We swam to the rocks. We go on top of the rocks. We jumped off and I feel like a little bit sober, but I'm still a little tipsy. The boys are waiting for us to get ready, so I'm trying to hurry up. Doing the quickest makeup of life. I'm not even wearing foundation. I do have the super goop on, so that's what's saving me right now. I feel like my face is already sunburned, even though I have SPF on. FML. And thank God for these lashes. This is what's saving me on this trip, is these lashes. Because if not, I would take forever to get ready. But we're having so much fun already, and it's, it hasn't even been a full day. This blush is called Flip. I like this one because it makes you look sunburned. This is literally the fastest makeup of life. Do a liquid highlighter. NYX brow pencil just to enhance the brows. This is not good to do when you're on a rush. Yo, are you know I'm on a setting spray. All right, now I'm all done. I'm gonna put an outfit on. I'm gonna put some sun bump cream all over me and we'll be ready to go. This is the outfit for the night. These pants are from Princess Polly. I am so excited I'm finally wearing them. I've had them for a minute now. And then this top is from Sheen. I have my bag from Target. I didn't even wash my hair. <laughs> it's a secret. It's beach hair. And I just put a little bit of Amika Detangler and then I put the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream in my hair. So this is, oh, and my shoes are from DSW. So this is the vibe for tonight. Super comfy, we're about to bar hop and see where the night takes us.
We ended up having a little girls night because Ryan and his friend Tony and the baby decided to come back here early and me and my friend Angie decided to stay out and bar hop and it was so much fun and towards the end of the night they started playing Spanish music so me and her were dancing all night it was so much fun we got back at 1 a.m. and I think it's like 9 a.m. now I'm pretty sure I'm still drunk but I just took a shower freshened up and I did put some more face tanning drops because my face it's looking a little pasty. It's not matching my body. Now I'm getting ready. I'm doing the same little beach makeup, but I'm letting this sit for a minute so that way this can work. And let's start this day. We're gonna go get breakfast and we're going on a tiki boat. Hey guys, so I just realized I never properly ended this vlog. It is now the next week. It is the next Sunday from Key West. And just a little recap, we got back home on Monday evening or like Monday afternoon. I would say like Monday evening at like 
got back home got situated and just like crashed because we were so exhausted my brother did such a good job taking care of the puppy so they were all nice and happy to see us when we got home and then the next day i just like try to get my life back together for my full work week but overall key west was so much fun me and ryan had so much fun and it was just like so nice just to get away for just a couple days i would say my favorite part of the trip was the boat day that was so much fun there was a random boat next to us with a slide and i swam over there and the parents were like yeah come on the slide so that was fun that was like one of my favorite parts of the trip but yeah it was just a quick little getaway only 45 minutes on a plane over there and back so we definitely need to do it again and of course ryan's best friend tony thank you so much for being our tour guide and he was amazing him and his wife and of course the baby he is so freaking cute so yeah we had a really great time so thank you guys so much for watching my little weekend vlog slash key west getaway if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>